Okay, so um, <coughs> I'm going to see if I can uh, fix or actually fit a DRO on my uh, drill press. Or, uh, it's a really old machine, but uh, very, very nice. And I use it for uh, easy milling and uh, the, there is a sort of depth thingy here, but uh, not very... Not very useful and not very precise. Uh, so I'm gonna see if I can mount this DRO on the quail, as it's called, right? Sort of. Okay, so uh, I figure I'll fix uh, with a, use a bracket of some sort. Fix the fixed part here uh, to the moving quail, whatever. And uh, this uh, this part here has to be fixed to the not moving part here. So, uh, well, I'll see what I can do about that. So I got this little piece of aluminium that I'm going to drill a couple holes in and uh, then uh, twist it to make that first bracket. There is nothing very precise about this, so this should do fine. Now I'm going to twist this and uh, we'll have a bracket, I hope. I've uh, never tried this, but uh, I'm using a clamp, like a vice grip, and uh, to hold uh, the bar, the end that I'm going to twist. See if that See if that will work. I never tried it. Not too bad. Wouldn't have worked on uh, anything uh, sturdier than this. I don't know what it is. 15 millimeters by 3. So anyway, good. Well, that did not turn out perfect. Um, I think I'm going to go in another direction using uh, an angle, aluminium angle bar, or L bar, instead of this twisted thingy. And also, it's, it's too long now. And then I still have to figure out how to fix this part to this part. That's uh, another question. I'll uh, just show you how, how I intend it to work. Uh, the fixed bar is, well, fixed. And uh, the sliding part here is supposed to be connected here. Stuck in one position. And as you go down, yeah, well, you, you get the idea. Well, one problem I have, I want to keep this so I'll be able to have a, a stop.
for the for how how deep I can uh, drill or uh, mill, but the idea to put put the bracket for the DRO here is doesn't won't work with this one because the threads here are too short. So I think I will have to make uh, a new one of these with a longer thread here. Shouldn't be too hard. This uh, thing has uh, it has a scale on it, millimeter scale. So, but you can hardly read it. So, it's three diameters and a thread. And this, uh, wow, feather, um, feather, spring, spring loaded, uh, well, whatever you call it. This is uh, a very, uh, a very good way I find. Better than doing it, doing it freehand anyway. Just follow with the, with the thingy here. And uh, as you uh, turn, as you start turning anyway, and uh, yeah, well, you'll get th straight threads. As you've uh, gotten a bit of traction on the on the threads, you can uh, you don't need the, the chuck anymore. You just go back and forth like this. Until you're done. Okay, so here we have uh, the original and the new uh, thingy. The original had like a quarter inch uh, 20 thread. Uh, for some reason it's a Swedish machine, but um, Still, it's it's from the 50s, and obviously, or apparently, they still use some imperial uh, measurements. And uh, yeah, well, I put a an M6 M6 uh, thread on the on the new one. So that's that. So I found a much better way of uh, mounting this. I found a piece of uh, aluminium. Uh, angle bar, L bar, so uh, I'll put it like this instead. That should be much better. Well, uh, something like this uh, might be uh, pretty good actually, I think. Um, I'll have to uh, drill a hole here and uh, thread it. That shouldn't be too much of an issue, I think. And uh, after that is just to find a place to put uh, the actual display. I think yeah, it, sh it should be okay. Okay, so uh, here it is. It's uh, not properly fixed yet and uh, needs some uh, calibration. I don't think it's quite uh, what's it called? Square yet. Uh, because I get like a 0 0.1, 0 0.15 millimeters error when I go to the bottom and come back up again. But all in all it is way better than uh, what I had. Still a little bit of work to do, but uh, some details. But good, awesome. Uh, I bought this uh, the DRO thingy on Banggood or Wish. I don't remember quite. Didn't cost a couple cost a couple hundred. Well, twenty about twenty dollars I think. About two hundred Swedish crowns. Well, here it is. Um, 
it works perfectly now that it's all uh, fixed um, I don't get any errors on or hardly any errors on the display a couple of hundred millimeters maybe a ah, hundredth of a millimeter and so I'm really happy with this now